Okay, so I'm coming at you guys with another video. Today we're going to be talking about torture. So what is torture? Some people might see it as like a negative connotation, but in my mind, I see torture as a good thing because torture basically helps you grow. It helps you stay disciplined. It helps you stay consistent. Torturing yourself, I mean in a positive way. So for example, let's say you forgot to do two sets of push-ups today. Tomorrow, when you wake up, you better double it, you better triple it, you better quadruple it, because here's the thing, that's going to be telling your mind, okay, I need to stay focused, I can't let this happen again. So what's going to happen next time you do the, sets, the set of push-ups is that your, your mind is going to be like, I'm going to do it today, I'm not going to do it tomorrow, because guess what, I'm going to have to double those sets. And that's, that's all it is. Really, that's all it is. Torturing yourself means discipline yourself. That's how you learn from your mistakes. So, for example, and I'm going to give you guys another example. So, let's say you're going to run about three miles today. And you didn't run three miles today. You actually slept in. So, tomorrow, as a punishment, you might have to run nine miles. So, you might have to uh, triple it. You might have to triple it. Three times three is nine. So... What's that, what that's going to tell your mind is, I can't let this happen again. So that's, that's how I'm going to stay consistent, three miles a day or three miles every other day. You know what I mean? Torturing yourself is how you build that discipline. It's how you build that, basically, basically that um, realization that you cannot make mistakes from now until the future. And just recently, yesterday, I forgot to upload a video. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload two videos today because I forgot to upload yesterday. I have to torture myself in a good way, in a positive way, so I can learn from my mistakes. So that's what I'm going to do. After this video, I'm going to upload another video. And the last reason why you need to torture yourself is because it basically gets you into that mindset of not letting it happen again, and it makes you a better person in the future. So if you want to become a better person in the future, that's how you're going to do it. People think that you build discipline by uh, breaking a habit for 30 days. Nothing comes to you in 30 days. That takes months. That takes years. It takes, it might take generations in the making. You have to understand that, let's say a crack, a crack addict, right? A crack addict wants to get off crack. They're not going to get off crack in 30 days. Because everybody says 30 days is what makes a habit and what breaks a habit. That's not true. It might take you two years to break that crack addiction. It might take you five years to break that crack addiction. It really depends on the person and how much crack they consume on the daily. So you have to understand it's not going to take a short while until you break that addiction or you break that habit. You have to fail, fail again, and you have to punish yourself when you fail. That's how you actually grow. That's actually how you learn as a person is by making sure you punish yourself. So like I said, I'm going to repeat everything that I've said here. First, I want you to, to make sure to note that nothing comes in the short term. Everything comes in the long term. So if you're battling with an addiction or you forget to do something, then you're going to have to punish yourself by doing more tasks or, 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 um, you know what I mean? You get what I mean? So that's what I want you guys to do. Torture yourself in a good way. Don't do it in a bad way. If you're torturing yourself and it feels like you're hurting afterwards, then you might need to take it a little bit easier and actually maybe, for example, you do two sets of push-ups, right? You do two sets of push-ups and you want to do another two sets, then you might just want to do three sets because your body might not be feeling like doing four sets. So that's what I wanted to say. Hope you guys take it easy.